Shalom, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Hey, while you're in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like, and subscribe. How you doing, sister? So I heard that you know you're an Israelite, right? Um, yeah, 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 I know that, yeah. Oh, how long have you been knowing you've been an Israelite, sister? Um, Two years now? Two years now, but yes, yes, I've been knowing you. Two years now. No, we come from Israel, uh, we, uh, the, the line of Shem. So what's required of you knowing that you're an Israelite? What's required of you? I'm sorry? What is required of you knowing that now that you know that you're an Israelite? What you must do now? What's the side of you? Follow the commandments. That's right. Can I bring you out one commandment right now? Let's get it. Deuteronomy 22 and 5. How you doing, brother? What's your name? Stephen. 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 Israel. 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 How you doing? My name's uh, R.B.L., by the way. You better bring out a law, okay? This is something this is for you, Mr. Reed. Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. Uh -huh. For woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Right. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. Now read it from the top. The woman. The, who? the woman. Well, we're talking about a woman because you're a woman, right? So this is the law for a woman. It starts with the woman first, okay? Read. Shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So a woman shall wear. Articles of clothing that belong to men. So let me ask you, because a lot of people might not know that because we bring out this law all the time. Let me ask you, so remember, let me ask your brother first. What are some uh, men's clothes? What is some men's clothes that women wear? You don't know? What you got on right now? Huh? What's this right here? Pants, right? So those are men's clothing, right? That women wear. Read me talk. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. The woman shall wear things that pertain to men. And what you say it was? Pants, yes. Even those leggings, too. You ain't supposed to wear that. Read on. We'll get to the real explain further. Read. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So what is the women's uh, gar articles of clothing? You know? Uh, who? I can hear you. Keep going, brother. We're here for you, bro. This is what's been pushing. I was saying, what are some hey. articles of women's clothing? Right, right here. Okay. Okay. What are some articles Back of women's clothing? Let me ask you, bro. Right. So what are some women's clothing? Some articles of women's clothing? Man, man, I know you guys. Let's read from the top. Check this out. Take this. The woman shall not wear that which pertains unto a man. So this law says a woman should wear that which pertains to men. What are some men's clothing that women wear? There you go, you said it right. Pants, right? Pants. So a woman should wear pants, right? Well, you know, don't, don't, don't do that. You know, we read the word of God. Ain't no, I don't know. We read the word of, of the Lord right now. Read from the top. The woman shall not wear that which pertains unto a man. Read it. They just got here. Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. The book of Deuteronomy. The first five books of the Bible. Read. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So a woman should wear articles of clothing that belong to men. You hear that? You know? Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So neither shall men put on articles of clothing that belong to women. What are some articles of clothing that belong to women? Yes. So think about it. Imagine a man walking around with a skirt. Like you had TD, you had Kanye West walk. Matter of fact, Tyler Perry, right? Something ain't right with that. You say, say it again. Something ain't right about that. So if there's something not right with that, then his fault something not right with a woman wearing pants. Vice versa. But the stigma we've been told, we've been told, we've been conditioned to believe one perspective and not the other. We've been conditioned to believe that women can wear pants, but a man that's wearing a dress, we think of, we look at that as crazy. We gotta come back to the whole knowledge of God right here. We have to reform our minds. I know we've been conditioned to think certain ways. 
So when we see a woman with pants, she shouldn't be doing that. You shouldn't be doing that, sister. Read me top. A woman should not wear that which pertains but to a man. So a woman should wear clothing that pertains to men, like uh, pants, even shorts, boxers. Right. Because shorts is a short form of pants. Why it's called shorts? It's a short form of pants. Short pants. You know. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So neither should a man put on a woman's garment. Because if you think about a man with a woman's garment, what type of attributes does that man have that that wears the dress? Think about with here. What, what's her attribute or his attributes? It's confusion. I'm saying here's her. It's confusion. Bring it out. She put on a dress. He sees it. There we go again. He puts on the dress, and what does he act like? Right. We all see with dear family wedding. We all see that trash. She talked like a woman, he talked like a woman, walked like a woman, everything. Did he do a concert a couple weeks ago with some Daisy Dukes or something? You saw that? Looking crazy as hell. But then, a couple years back, he up there giving uh, T.D. Jakes the Holy Ghost. It's confusion. Right. It's hypocrisy. He in the church with T.D. Jakes, but he on stage wearing some damn Daisy Dukes with a flower wig on. Somebody come to the doctor, brother. I can't hear you. I thought he did it for <laughs> hey, it's confusion, bro. Read on. The woman shall not wear that which pertains but to a man. Uh -huh. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Now let's talk about this, though. The flip side of a, a woman putting on pants. What type of attribute she has if she wear the pants? I'm going to give you a hint. There's a saying that I wear the pants in the house. So if a woman thinks she got on the pants, well, who does she think she is? A man. Masculinity, right. You know what I'm saying? Because a woman, matter of fact, a pants, you got a zipper, right? What? What is a woman going to put out if she got a zipper? What is she putting out? Unless she undercover. Unless she undercover, right. Some roll like that, though. So I ain't about to go there. It's disgusting, though. You know what I mean? It puts on the attribute of a man, right? Because they're saying, I wear the pants in the house, since I'm in control. I'm the man. Think about a cop. When you get in the car, it's only one steering wheel, right? We both can't be in the driver's seat. I have to lead as a man, and she has to follow as a woman. You know what? Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So neither shall a man put on a woman's garment is going to put on a spirit, a spirit of femininity on him. Right. The uh, Medea. Who else? Uh, Mark. With, uh, uh, what's up? Uh, Sinead Nate. We all remember Sinead Nate. What about Jamie Foxx? One. Right, they put on a dress and they act like a woman. And these want me to believe that this man is a manly man. We all heard the rumors. We ain't about to throw that. It ain't about that. We got here to edify y'all. Get you to understand that. That's confusion. You know? For all that do so are uh, abomination unto the Lord thy God. So if you do these things, you're an abomination. Let me ask you something. What is abomination? What does the word abomination mean? You don't know? Okay, bro, what's your name, bro? Eric. Eric, how you doing, Eric? What's abomination? What do you think that means? When you first hear the word abomination, what comes to your mind? Destroy. Destroy? I can't think of it. is a disgusting thing. Get uh, Jeremiah uh, 55 and uh, 5, right? 44 and 4. Yeah, get that. And we're going to get a few more scriptures with abomination. Right? The book of Jeremiah, chapter 44 and verse 4. 44, yeah. Albeit I sent unto you all my servants, the prophets, rising early and sending them, saying, Oh, do not this abominable thing that I hate. Do not this what? Abominable thing that I hate. See, the Lord hates abominations. That's right. He hates when a woman puts on pants. Right. He hates when a man put on the dress. Right. It's confusion. Because it puts forth an attribute in you. It puts forth a spirit in you. So if you're a man wearing a dress, it puts forth an attribute of femininity. Right. So if a woman wearing pants, it puts forth, a, puts forth an attribute of masculinity. But God didn't make you a man. He made you a woman. So he's supposed to act and look apart. He made us men. So he's supposed to act and look apart as men. <laughs> but some people don't understand that. Just like in high school, they had cross dressing day. We was conditioned to, these things were conditioned in our minds since the very beginning. 
everything was influenced by us uh, being conditioned. So you think you got your own mind, but you don't. Because everything was conditioned from us from the very beginning. Right. Since the high school, cross dressing day. Boys dressed like girls, girls dressed like boys. We thought that was funny. We thought it was cute. But that's an abomination to the Lord. We was conditioned from then. So that way when we grow up now, we think it's okay. We think it's okay for a woman to wear pants. We look at a man wearing a treadmill, well, that's his life. No, that's an abomination. Who am I to judge? You can't judge because God said it's wrong. Right. So if God says it's wrong, then we should stand by that. Let's see some more abominations. Let's see what God thinks about abomination. Because remember, he said cross dressing is abomination. That's what we're talking about. Sirach chapter 15, verse 13. Uh -huh. Bring it on. The Lord hated all abominations. No, he hates some abominations. The Lord hated all abominations. Well, he hated that, sister. It started with you. He said the woman should not read that was pertaining to men. Neither should a man put on the woman's garment. The scriptures for everybody, but you have to get out those legs, you have to get out those pants, put on the dress. Read the gospel. The Lord hated all uh, abominations, uh -huh. and they that fear God love it not. And they that fear God love it not. What is, how do you fear God? How do you fear God? You know how to fear God? Proverbs 27. I want that one. How do we fear God? So we got to come back to the fear of the Lord. We've been subconsciously conditioned to think that what we see is okay. It's not. I know we're on the left side. I know we see it all the time. See that? The book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verse 7. Come on. Be not wise in thy own eye. Fear the Lord. Do what? Fear the Lord. We have to fear the Lord. Come on. And depart from evil. That's how we fear God from departing from evil. But we've been subconsciously conditioned to think that a woman with pants is not evil, but it is. You know why? Because the Lord says it's an abomination. We've been thinking that a man with a dress is not evil. But it is because the Lord said that's an abomination. We got to depart from that. We have to change our mind. Yeah, man, right? That's your name, right? Eric. Eric, my bad. What's your question? I thought you had your hand up. Do you understand that about cross dressing? Yeah, I was, I was trying to say, like, uh -huh. Will, Will Smith, uh, what's his name? Jay Smith? Yeah, he had a dress on and all that. Uh, right. Right, he was uh, modeling for some, uh, for some clothing line. <laughs> that stuff was forcing my people. So when we see that, we think it's okay. It must be okay. He's doing it. So we're conscious, subconscious condition to think it's okay. But we got to be subconscious of these laws of God right here. We got to come back to this. Romans 12 and 2. We got to come back to what does say the Lord say. So you understand that, sister? You got to come out of that. You got to put on the dress, all right? Right. Come on. Romans chapter 12, verse 2. Bring it out. And be not conformed to this world. We can't be conformed to this world because we've been taught it's okay to cross dress. We've been taught to look the other way. That's his life. No. That's your brother. Looking crazy as hell. You want to do it, so why won't you allow your brother to do it? You said yourself that's crazy. So why won't you look the, the other way and you know damn well that, that something ain't right about that? What if that was yours? You got kids? You got kids? How I many? What you got, boy or girl? You won't put your son in the dress, would you? Nope. Right. <laughs> you know? And be not conformed to this world, yep. but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. We got to transform the way we think. We got to transform to what the Bible says. Let's go back. You know? But be ye transformed uh -huh. by the renewing of your mind, uh -huh. that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. So we have to look at So we may prove. Let's check it out. That ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. We got to prove what's good. We have to prove to y'all that keeping the commandments is good. How do we prove that? We have to apply the thing ourselves. It's our pursuit of you. Let's see what It's our pursuit of you. You have to prove the mind that says what you're doing. Real. Verse 70, chapter 2 and verse 9. This is the system. In like manner also, 
that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. Yeah, women do what? Adorn themselves in modest apparel. What does that mean, sister? Who do you understand? Okay. okay, so why you feel you need to cover yourself? Why is it important for a woman to cover themselves? Cover their body? Cover their shape? I'm, I'm speaking to you. Why is that important? There you go. That's good. Read on. In like manner also, women adorn themselves in modest apparel, with right. shame baseness and sobriety, right. not with broidered hair, or gold, or pearls, or costly array. And the reason why I say that is that it's okay for you to wear jewelry, but you, you shouldn't be wearing jewelry to attract attention. Because a lot of sisters think that they have to attract attention. That's why they wear the tight leggings, the, the boy shorts, and they try to attract their attention. Or for you to use your body and attract attention, you must really think low about yourself. Right. The Lord created you as a daughter of Sarah. You're supposed to be modest. You're supposed to think highly of yourself. You're supposed to have more to offer yourself besides your body. Because once you offer your body, guess what that brings? That brings single parent households. That brings a brother that's going to knock you up and leave you. Because guess what? You ain't set no standard for yourself. Who's going to in like manner also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel, uh -huh. with shame faces shame and surprises. Surprises. So you supposed to have a clear mind and clear conscience. Your mind's supposed to be after the Lord. Okay? Read on. With shame faces and surprises, not with braided hair, or gold, or pearls, or costly array. So you understand what you must do now, sister? What must you do, sister? Hey, check, check the information out on that flyer, bro. I got you. So you gotta do what? Hey, brother, how y'all doing? Hey, brother, with the shirt. Come here for a second. How you doing, man? Let me talk to you for a minute. Come on, talk to you. Come on, come forward. Come forward. Come forward. Come forward. Let's get the doctrine of Jesus Christ. Let's get the power of the Lord, too. What's the doctrine of Jesus Christ? Read off. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 2. Listen to this. For I give you good doctrine. I give you what? Good doctrine. Read on. Forsake ye not my law. So the doctrine is God's law. That's what we put forsaking as the people. Today is the Sabbath day, by the way. That's the commandment we must keep. A sister's supposed to wear modest apparel. She's supposed to put on the dress. That's the law. That's the doctrine we've been teaching to our people. Right. That's our doctrine. That's right. the doctrine of Christ. The hell with what you think. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.